Everybody, it's famous writer comedian Steve Marmel. Yeah. More slide. Okay. Yeah. And you are famous. behind a fantastic Rudy Giuliani uh, horse photo. Is that the junkie horse or a different horse? No, that that's just. That's just uh, like Rudy. It's a, it's uh, an animal that only brushes his top teeth. <laughs> so I, uh, I uh, if you're if you're seeing this, I'll, I'll hang on. I'll duck back. Steve, can, uh, no, I can see it. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Let's see. We uh, there's actually a Twitter account because of us called Rudy's Junkie Grill because he does have a really <laughs> junkie grill. But yeah. Okay, so Steve, we just I don't know if you heard us just discussing that this is the world we find ourselves in comedically and otherwise that the former president who was actually president it just tweeted about uh, the horse in uh kentucky derby being a junkie as if a horse yeah. can be the one that chooses to take the drugs uh, and well, i don't you know you yeah you know biden made him do it you know it you know you know biden forced that horse to you know get on totally. the horse. Mm -hmm. i was gonna ask if you're mourning the loss comedically of donald trump but we haven't really lost him he's never really gone is he i uh i like that he's not on twitter it's like it's uh, yeah. there's like several several rungs of uh, stupidity he has to leap and i just don't see that guy leaping that much um <laughs> so it's it's you know it's like it's not in your face as much so twitter's a little more fun yeah it's a little more fun um just, but then you get another. like but like any has been comedian he's just you know crashing weddings and i i don't know <laughs> it's kind of pathetic he really yeah, is just fat, fat orange elvis right Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, OK, I am so with you on the Twitters for a number of reasons. But Wall Street Journal uh, tweeted airlines are battling a scourge of passengers traveling with falsified COVID-19 health certificates with test results easy to manipulate. Because of that, vaccine cards may be coming. And you said, good, find every fake and place them on a no fly list. Thank you, Steve. And it's not just because I want to need to fly to see my 98 year old mom with Alzheimer's. But I hope by the end of June when I'm flying that they require so I know that everyone in that airport and on that plane is vaccinated. I enough yeah. with this, right? They won't just go get a free vaccine card and get the shot and do the right thing. They're spending it, money and time trying to falsify either vaccine cards or COVID test results, right? Or like Tucker Carlson, who probably got the vaccine and is still, you know, I don't know that he did. I don't know. Yes, maybe that sure maybe, he did. But, but I'm sure he did because everybody at Fox News was hiding in a bunker for a month. Yeah. Um, like, How about a have, year, have, a month, like for a year? They didn't do the show you, from the studio, that, right? The same. Have you flown? Have you flown since all yeah, this? Yes, I flew at Christmas because my mom is 98 and has Alzheimer's and just had gone into a nursing home and was not doing well. And I got COVID coming back from uh, going to see my mom. And so, you know, I'm gun shy, but I'm vaccinated now and my mom's vaccinated. But, you know, I've been talking um, I, all morning, Steve, about just... Here's the story that is the nightmare. Florida is reporting a massive surge in COVID variant cases that appear to be tied yeah. to the massive surge of young people who flooded the beaches during spring break, with Ron DeSantis moving quickly to open the state up during the pandemic. Despite warnings from the CDC, the state is now seeing the after effects of his decisions with a startlingly large 10,000 variant cases. Um, Florida is home to the most variant COVID-19 cases in the country. State health officials reported more than 11,800 cases of COVID variants on Wednesday. Florida Department of Health released the data as part of a legal settlement, settlement with the Orlando Sentinel because, you know, he's been trying to hide these statistics. So this yeah. was only a freedom of information that we even got these stats from Florida. But, you know, Steve, like I was saying, India was doing well. They opened up, started having all these festivals. You know, now look at where they are. So I don't think we're out of the woods yet. We're certainly at a turning point. But, but no, you... it's uh, and and I, here's my question to you because I read that story. It's like it's not ten thousand different variants. It's ten thousand cases of right. the known variants, mm -hmm. right? Correct. Uh, right. But you know, it's like you know, yeah, you knew that was going to happen. And uh, you know, I, I I'm sorry, Key West, which I used to I, I would visit every other year. There's a resort there that I like to go to but it's like i'm not i'm not even flying through that state like yeah. i yeah it's just it's gonna hurt it. all of their businesses i mean that that's that's the thing it's like so when i read 
such and such place is barreling toward reopening. I'm like, oh man, you know, like yeah. I just, I mean, but, it, but just the airline real quick, let me stick on uh, the FAA proposed fines ranging from uh, 9,000 to 32,000 uh, against four airline uh, passengers who allegedly disobeyed crew instructions, refused to, write, to wear face masks or assaulted flight Good. attendants as part of a new zero pol- intolerance policy. Good. Like you, it, Good. it's just, uh, you know, and again, not just because I'm flying. I just am so for this, Steve, anywhere. I just hope it is required on every airline, at every workplace, school, business. Yeah. You know, I, it yeah, just... no, I, I agree. I, I was, um, it was about a month ago. I was at, the planes are great, right? Like the, so, so recently uh, the planes have been really good, right? But the airports, it's a wild west. Yeah. Like I walk, and I walk and the, the airplane, airplane when, when the air, when this on the ground, when the air system is not on, oh, it's yeah. not circulating and you're queuing to get off or on. Yeah. Yeah. You've got oxygen masks right above my head. Can I have it please? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's there's something I can breathe into that doesn't have COVID into it. Can I have that for five minutes? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. If that dropped down, I would not be terrified. I would be relieved. So the other tweet I loved it. I quoted. This is what it got your attention was uh, that I said so you said it, January sixth was four months ago. When are we going to Nuremberg these traitors? And this is what I'm yeah. afraid of, Steve. As time goes on, it gets normalized, and because essentially we've had a domestic 9/11. But the other half of Congress is Al Qaeda. We're not going to get an actual investigation because they're involved. It's their yeah. supporters. It's Trump supporters. Some of them were were actually involved, right? In terms of giving tours or tweeting Nancy Pelosi's whereabouts or or God knows what. So yeah, what do we do about? I mean, there's a lot on Merrick Garland's plate, isn't there? I mean, I and and I have a feeling. Look, I'm I'm trying to be optimistic about a couple things. Um, and one. I think they're putting. I think they're putting a case together that starts at the bottom and goes up, right? So they're just they're looking for the flippable cards. You know, who's going to go? Yeah, all right. I, uh, Eric Prince told me to let people in the back door. Like they're looking for that person somewhere in the in the um, garden of weasels is one that's going to talk. Um, so I believe that that's going to happen. I hope it happens early enough that they don't go. Oh, it's election tampering. But I do believe that they're trying to build the case. Yeah. The other thing that I'm sort of optimistic about, and maybe I'm probably the only one, is they tried this. I mean, the suppression is ridiculous. Okay, we know that. But it's all connected. It's part of the insurrection, Steve. It's ongoing. That's what I'm saying. What's happening in Arizona and all the voter suppression bills around the country are a continuation of the insurrection, of the coup, of the the ongoing anti-democratic movement and what do we do about it? I just don't feel like there's as much enough urgency about well, what's this is, happening. This is the part two of optimism, which is because they're Republicans, they jump and they do this early. Remember, they did this early in Georgia, right? They were like, oh, shh. oh, Kemp almost lost. We need to suppress. So so the left had two years to go. Oh, that's how you're going to do it. Well, I guess we'll vote like this. Like, the, like they think that the people like Stacey Abrams are just going to go, nah, I'm just going to, you know, chill out for 90 for for 18 months and not have a plan. They basically laid their plan out in a 99 page garbage bill. And so anybody that looked at it goes, here's how we vote. And then we're going to spend the next hopefully 20 months, te- you know, letting people know how to get around this suppression. And it yeah. sucks. Yeah. But. But I, I think we better it, I think wake it, up or we're or it's going to be yeah. over. They're going to take back the House in 2022 and then 24. Forget it. It doesn't matter if we come out in overwhelming numbers. I mean, this could have almost worked. And and he lost yeah. by seven million votes. Right. I mean, yeah. and that's, no, what, that's, I, I, that's what they're trying to fix. We'll just put we'll get rid, rid of the Brad Raffensburgers. And right. I mean, it, it's we'll just replace them with whatever the Republican legislature says, whoever he, they say won. Right. Yeah. No, it's it's uh, I, I agree with your fear on that. But it's like if I felt like it was over, I would just probably get off social media, find another passport, um, figure out which animal based cryptocurrency I wanted to move everything into, uh, like uh, maybe go to cockatiel coin and then uh, and then get out. But I don't. I, 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 I mean, I'll know in 2022. Uh, at being Jewish, uh, I have a certain spidey sense towards uh, <laughs> towards uh, when I'm going to need to pretend to be a humble watchmaker waiting for the return of the Fuhrer. So, uh, 
so I'm uh, I'm I'm uh, I, I'm going to be optimistic that whatever uh, traps these uh, these um, terrible uh, the these you know these they're not the brightest people in the world, right? Like. So I, I don't think that, you know, I think they're like literally yeah. putting a stick under a box. That's, that's the fear is smarter fascists and not the ones that are as dumb as currently. Right. <laughs> right. Um, okay. Yeah. Real quick one. Speaking of crypto, what is it? A currency? Yeah. Know, the only people that seem to understand it are Elon Musk. So um, uh, I'm yeah. curious your take on the SNL thing. Our friend uh, Dean Obadala, comedian, said, well, SNL sadly helped Elon Musk whitewash his history of spreading lies about COVID defying COVID restrictions that resulted in 440 Tesla employees contracting COVID and making yeah. insensitive comments about the transgender community. Um, I thought the more important sin is he's not funny. I don't understand why they have people host yeah. that are not. I just, I don't know. Well, it's, you know, after 46 years, you're going to get a couple of uh, uh, D minus hosts regardless. Um, I was, I mean, part of me was like, oh, just come out and say get vaccinated and maybe, maybe I can, you know, may, maybe that would be great. I really, really deep down, again, trying to be optimistic, sick of being angry, um, was like, maybe he'll come out, tell people to get vaccinated, and then try to up his wealth by pushing uh, cryptocurrency. But yeah. he didn't. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and that was, you know, and then I was just like, all right, well, I'm going to go watch anime. Click. Um, <laughs> it's like, yay, she's got a sword. Um, but, but yeah, I mean... I guess it didn't like having him on doesn't bother me as much because he is he is pop culture. It's like, you know, there are reasons that you have somebody like that on the show. Yeah, I just but he had a golden opportunity to correct some of the bad behavior and he yeah. didn't. And that that sort of I was kind of like, well, is there can a wrecking ball just come in and we can just hear Miley Cyrus sing some more? Is that? Yeah, she was great. She was amazing. I could just listen to her sing the whole yeah. time. That would have been better. Yeah. But okay. Yeah, that opening was great. Seeing all yeah. their yeah. parents. Yeah, yeah that yeah. was funny. Yeah. Jazz Absolutely. sketch was funny. All right. Well, as we waited for you, professional comedian and award-winning writer that you are for the uh, QAnon comedy sure. tour with Matt Gates and Marjorie Taylor Greene. So we will we will play some some audio for that and get your reaction. <laughs> 